What's going on guys, Wi-Fi Profit here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a basic Google search campaign. All right, so in order to do so, you wanna make sure you go to campaigns. You wanna click the blue plus icon to add a new campaign, go to new campaign. All right, so for your goal, you wanna select sales because we're doing e-commerce. And for your campaign type, you wanna select search because we're running a search ad. All right, so the way you get your reach, you wanna pick website visits, and then you wanna input your website name. So mine is bayblair.com. All right, so put it in and then click continue. All right, so for your campaign name, you wanna name it whatever the product is. So if the product was name necklace, you put in name necklace and then you would do dash search. All right, so for your networks, you wanna leave this check, but you wanna uncheck this one. All right, and for your locations, you wanna put United States. You wanna click the drop down and then you want to put people that are in the targeted location. The reason why is because you don't want people that are visiting to see your ad. You only want people that are in the location. All right. So for your languages, you want to select English. It's already on there by default. All right. So for your budget, what you want to do is you want to put in $20. Now, if you're working with a tighter budget, you could also do $10. That would be adequate. But I always recommend starting out with $20 just to get data faster. All right. So for bidding, what you want to do is you want to select your own bidding strategy and then you want to go to manual CPC. The reason why I like manual CPC is because we have control over the bid. All right. So where it says help increase conversions with enhanced CPC, what you want to do is you want to uncheck this. The only time you would check this if you had conversion data already, specifically 10 conversions on a product. Right. So what you would do is once you get 10 conversions, you would go back into your campaign settings and then you would check this. But when you're first running your campaign in the beginning, you want to leave it unchecked. All right. So now we have to do our site link extensions, call out extensions and call extensions. Now, you don't have to do all of these. Right. The only reason why people do it is to make their um, ad look bigger and to uh, take up more real estate in the Google search. All right. So for the most part, I do site link extensions and I do call out extensions. All right. So I already have some generated. I have my beauty section. I have contact us fax. And then I have uh, track your order. All right. So select these. All right. And then go to call out extensions. I have seven call out extensions that I've already created. So I'm just going to click this. All right. And all of them are selected. All right. So I'm not going to do a call extension, but if you had like a consultation company and you wanted to get calls, that will work as well. But for this example, we're going to leave it on site link and call out. All right. Then you want to go save and continue. All right, so for your ad group name, you can just leave it at ad group one. And for your default bid, I recommend starting out with 50 cents. So I'm gonna put in 50 cents. All right, so now we have to put in keywords that we want our ads to show up for. All right, so you could do broad match, you could do phrase match or exact match. For the most part, I always utilize phrase match. All right, so when you, whenever you're utilizing phrase match, you wanna make sure you put the keywords in parentheses, all right? So this is what we're going to do. You're going to go to uh, the Keywords Everywhere tool. Make sure you download it. It's completely free. But what it's going to do is going to show you how many people are searching for a keyword or product every single month, as well as give you relevant search queries that also have um, volume, right? So for example, I typed in name necklace in Google, and it shows me that there's 33,000 people searching for name necklace, as well as at the bottom, if you scroll down, you're going to be able to see related keywords and things that people um, also search for, right? So what you could do is you could just um, copy this and go back to uh, your ad group, paste it in, right, if you wanted to, and then you put all these in parentheses. Um, but for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is just type in some basic information that I've already done my research on. So I know, like I said, name necklace has over 33,000 searches as well as custom necklace, as well as personalized necklace, personalized necklace. All right, so I've done my research on these already and they have fair amount of search volume. So this is what I would put in my first ad group. Then I would go to save and continue. You can create a new ad group if you want. You can have multiple ad groups, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm only going to do one. All right. So like I said, I have name necklace, custom necklace, and personalized necklace as the keywords that I'm targeting. 
and I'm utilizing phrase match because they're in parentheses. So real quick, what phrase match is, is anytime someone types in name necklace, custom necklace, or personalized necklace, as long as these words are in the search query, my ads will show up for. Exact match is if they type this word in exactly, and I only want it to show up for people typing exactly name necklace. Broad match is if I don't care what people are searching for as long as it has name necklace in it. All right, so you wanna click save and continue. All right, so now we have to create our ad, all right? So for headline, headline one, you can do something like um, free shipping today only. All right, for headline two, you could say something like um, best name necklace. And then for the third one, you could do only $29. Now, obviously, you could do uh, better research than that. This is just something that I just came up with right here real quick. All right, so for your display path, you want to type in name necklace. That whatever the product is. So for path one, put in name. And for path two, you could put in necklace. All right, so for your description, you could just type in a random description. I'm gonna have to come up with something off the top. So it's not gonna be the best, but I'm just showing you a demonstration on what you would do. All right, so I would say something like, get your name necklace today. We have many we have many select styles that won't break the bank. We have, and then come to the description too, we have silver, gold, and rose gold. And then put like free shipping today only 50% off. All right, 50% off. And then you would um, go to save and continue. All right. And then you would pretty much get like some data on what the campaign could possibly do. And then you go to continue the campaign. All right. So just like that, our search ad is created. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a fat like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications to stay updated on more e-commerce content I post in the future. All right, guys. It's Wi-Fi Profit. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.